Hello, I'm John from Design Wall. Today we'll talk about how to install our WordPress themes using a Quick Start package. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to unzip and copy the Quick Start folder into our server, then create a new database on our local host, and finally run the installation. So let's start with step number one. Unzip and copy the Quick Start folder into the server. So unzip the product package that you downloaded from our website and then right click and choose Extract. Wait a few seconds and then double click on the Quick Start folder. And now you can see inside the Quick Start folder we have WordPress code, themes, plugins, and installation files. Now let's head back outside the folder and right click and copy it. And then we're going to paste it right into www folder if you're using wamp, xamp, or appserve. Here we're using appserve. Now we need to create a new database on the local host using PHP MyAdmin. Open your browser, the browser can be Chrome, Firefox, anything really, and then type localhost forward slash PHP MyAdmin right into the browser link area and then press enter. Now if you access your local host for the first time, the system is going to ask you to log in, so input your username and password and then press enter or click the OK button. Now we're inside the PHP MyAdmin and here you can input a database name and then click the create button. So how easy is that? You know what you just did? You created a new database called Sample. Now for the last step, I will show you how to run the installation. So in your browser, let's open a new tab and enter localhost forward slash. And then we need to use the name of the quick start folder. And here's my folder name, it's dw underscore sample underscore one dot zero dot zero underscore quick start. And then press enter. And then click create a configuration file and finally the let's go button. And here you can add a database name which you just create. Here's where we'll add the database name that we just created in PHP MyAdmin. And next you're going to enter your MySQL username and password. And now let's skip down and click the submit button and finally run the installation. Now we can give our site a name and choose a username and password and all of this can be changed later but you need to remember the username and password as these will be your admin account settings to log into the dashboard. And to complete all of this click the install WordPress button and then just wait a few seconds as the system installs your WordPress files. And success! We have created our new theme using a quick start package. But hang on, we're not quite done yet. Before we can get the party really started, we need to secure our site by deleting the SQL folder. And then let's go into the WP slash content folder and delete the install.php file. Now everything is done. And here is a sample of our beautiful, flexible design wall themes now available for purchase. And there's even a free one you can download right now and use. Thanks for watching.